What is going on, everybody? I do want to apologize for the change in location, but it's not that big of a deal. I'll be back to my regular scheduled program in like a couple days. But iOS 12 Beta 5 just came out, so let's see how it runs on the iPhone success. Now, I'll tell you and I'll give you like a little spoiler right now that iOS 12 Beta 5 wasn't really that big of an improvement to their already iOS 12 Beta 4. And when I mean improvement, I mean like overall like crazy features or anything. But in terms of smaller little improvements, that's where this Beta 5 really shines. I don't think it, you know, went out and they tried to ball out with it, but I do think they tried to fix some of the bugs that they had before. And honestly, in my standards, that's really all I want within the beta. And a lot of you guys kind of want more, but you guys can't have everything in one day. You know, you got to give it time. Now I'll go over some key features that Apple added. Um, one of them is actually within FaceTime and within there, there's a new like connecting and disconnecting little like sound effect. Now I did try to replicate it earlier, but I don't have any FaceTime audio things in here, but just know that when you do FaceTime somebody, you do end up getting a new connect sound and a new disconnect sound as well. It is pretty cool. I kind of like that a lot. And within this specific beta, that's one cool thing that they added. Now, another cool thing that they added was within actually the AirPod situation. Now, I don't necessarily have that type of capability on this phone because I already connected my AirPods to my daily driver, which is the iPhone 10. But just know that there's this new image that kind of simulates that the new AirPods wirelessly charging case is about to be released, which makes sense. You know, September's around the corner. The new iPhones are about to be released. So I see Apple really pushing those things out when the new iPhones come out and they're going to release air power at the same time. So that's pretty sick. And I can't wait to have that on my AirPods, the wirelessly charging functionality. So that's pretty sick. And now actually within the control center, the new toggles are actually a little bit darker than usual. I wish I didn't update my all other devices to this so I can compare them. But yeah, this device actually has darker control center toggles than usual, which I kind of like. But on the iPhone 10, they're actually not pitch black. And I did test that. So I'm kind of salty about that a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. I'm willing to get, you know, let that over. And there were some other small little improvements as well. Now I actually did run a benchmark. My bad, I actually had to rerun the score, but on iOS 12 beta 4, I had a multi-core score of 118,251, and I just reran it, and it actually went up to 123,899, so that is quite a bit of an improvement, almost 10,000, over 10,000 points in it, or almost 10,000 points, and that's pretty interesting. I mean, if you think about it, they improved the phone, they added more improvements, and they also sped up, sped it up a little bit. And what more can you ask for for an update, you know? This isn't the final version. We still have like a month and a half left to go, but I'm excited for it. I don't think this is the best version of iOS 12 that's going to come out, but I think it's the best version so far. It's definitely not a step back, but I will have my full thoughts and final thoughts with it in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. There's also a speed comparison coming out tomorrow for iOS 12 beta 4 and iOS 12 beta 5, and I will try to do an iOS 11.4.1 versus iOS 12 beta 5 as well, so... Stay tuned for that. I still have tons of videos coming out for these things. So if you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button. Leave a comment if you guys have any questions or anything like that. I'll try my best to get back to you, but definitely hit that subscribe button. We are still giving away an iPhone success like this and an iPhone SE on this channel. And in order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description. So make sure you guys enter that. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And I hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.